Hey, 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 everybody. I, as promised, wanted to make sure that I went ahead and did this quick Facebook Live. It's gonna be a quick, short one today. I'm um, really, really in the midst of trying to get a couple things knocked out on my to-do list. And uh, part of that was just kind of cleaning up and getting the kitchen reset and then also I grabbed my dog's paws. As all of us can't go get our haircuts, Oliver can't get his trim in either. And I was just getting so tired of seeing his little paws and the fur growing in the paw pad. So I just took one of his paws and I trimmed it after our run this morning. And again, a very, um, uh, like I, we ran smartly is what I want to say with maintaining social distancing from everyone. So lest anyone thinks we're dropping the ball here in Chicago, we are not. We're being very careful, but I did bring him back. I only managed to trim one paw. So he's got one paw that's trimmed and the rest, the three others are just kind of shaggy. And so he's just hanging out, but we're going to get to it later because he didn't have any patience for me to do the rest of them. So that's been what today has been about just trying to get regrouped and reset and all of that but i do have a plan for dinner tonight who's got potatoes at home let me show you the recipe that i plan to make it is uh hey tom good to see you i'm gonna flippy do the camera all right so here we go this recipe is in the indian slow cooker so even if you don't want to make it today or have already figured out what you're going to be making for dinner and you want to make it another day, you absolutely can turn to page 133 in the Indian slow cooker and look for the saucy Punjabi potatoes. A couple things on this, and I just want to read through this. We start off with potatoes, three to four, and then we've got onion, ginger garlic that's your basic ingredients for a good north indian darka right and we've got the chilies tomatoes cumin seed turmeric powder you've got red chili powder water salt i mean it's really not that complicated yes and this is aloo or potatoes and look here we go rase vale aloo rasa means sauce what in the Western world we refer to as curry, it's rasa. And that's why my mouth's watering as I'm talking about this because that's why we love this potato dish so much. Kind of like chicken noodle soup in the Western world, saucy Punjabi potatoes are like what we eat on the weekend or if I'm not feeling well as along with kitchery and things like that. Um, whoops, sorry, I had a blip there. My mom called me. I cannot talk to her right now. We are doing a Facebook Live. I just got done talking to her for about 40 minutes. Ah, anyway, so <laughs> I am going to be making these. And for the crock pot, what you need to do is just put everything in the crock pot. So you put the potatoes in. You don't cook them first. And then in your food process, you're actually grinding the other um, ingredients, the onion, ginger, garlic, chilies, and then you'll add that to the crock pot and then your spices and water and let it cook down for you. What I will know, Tom, my mom does not need to be watching uh, me because I, I learned everything I could from her. She'd probably laugh if she um, was watching, but she'd have good feedback, that's for sure. I'm going to make my potatoes, and I've just got the russet bag of russet potatoes. My 14-year-old's going to be very upset because she's been making a lot of hash browns, but we're going to use it up for a potato curry today, and I will boil these before I cook them in the curry. Another tip, I was on the phone with my mom this morning that she told me that I thought was interesting is she does tend to boil them first if making them on the stovetop. And then the other thing is she doesn't cut them. So she'll boil them and I boil with the skin on because otherwise they get kind of waterlogged. And then I will peel once they're cooled and then she hand breaks them down, not mashes. 
just kind of breaks them down a little bit. So you have a curry that's not as precise as a um, as potatoes that have been chopped down. All right, so I'm gonna take you over to a spice. Can anyone tell me, and I'm gonna be using one of these spices in my curry today, and that's what I thought we would talk about, are the differences between these spices. I, oh, and then Tom too, you're asking, don't peel them before cooking. I do peel them. You don't have to, because if you scrub them down and you wash them really well, you can actually eat the peel. It's actually pretty, got a lot of fiber and all of that, and it can be nutritious. I tend to go ahead and peel and discard them, so I will peel them before, but then I use my, I will use my hand once they're cooled down, carefully just mash them or just break them down slowly. All right, so cardamom, yes. This is the cardamom that you think about, right? The floral, light, green cardamom. It is one of the most, if not the most expensive spice on the market. It's known as the queen of spices. What's this? This is as critical to me in my cooking, in fact, more than this. And if you say this is cardamom too, you've got it right. They are from the same species of plant, but very different, very different spices. And you use them in very different ways. For us North Indians, this black cardamom, that's right, Allison, black cardamom, or buddy elachi. Buddy means big. Big ilachi, ilachi means cardamom. Very important spice for us and to us in our cooking. I love using the green cardamom light, very floral, in kheer, um, rice pudding. My daughter, my older daughter loves it in lassi. So if I make a mango lassi out of yogurt for her, I'll put some of this in with the pod and everything and just blend it down. This, my friends, is one of the most underutilized spices in the West. Very woody, very earthy, very um, just robust. You do not want, and smoky. So you do not want to use this in place of the green cardamom, but you want to use it in your, your palaos, meaning your rice dishes, your jira chaval and in your biryanis, and also in these potatoes that I'm going to be making a little later on today. You get this from an Indian grocery store. You can also pop online these days if you're ordering online, and you can find an Indian grocer. I'll see if my contacts in the Indian grocery world have a good link for all of you. I will email them. They're so busy though, it's hard to get responses from them. But folks that I get my legumes from, I will uh, reach out to them and see if we can get a little link. But you can just Google black cardamom pods and you should be good to go. So all I'm gonna do is for this curry is boil my potatoes, peel them, break them down with my hand a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my onion, ginger, garlic, your base for most of these curries, as well as tomatoes and tomato paste. And I will um, cook that all together and also put in my black cardamom pods and my uh, cinnamon sticks, cumin seed, some turmeric, and what else, red chili powder, I mean, pretty much if you cook Indian, you've got all this at home. The idea is to make a really nice base and then put the potatoes in and then add your water and just let it. I always say it's important to build your curry or rasa, right? Rasa is juice. Sauce is what we call our curry is rasa. And so it's good to build it with a little bit more water each time. You don't want to over power it with too much water. You can always add water. It's tough to take water out and um, 
thicken it up. So I am going to go ahead and make that a little later. I've got to run out and ship some orders out. Allison, I got your gutta masala out yesterday, and I apologize. We are completely out of sauces, but I'm waiting for my co-packer to hopefully make more. There's been a shortage, folks, of tomatoes in the market, and if you don't see this already, I'm sure you do. The supply chain, especially in the food industry, is completely um, crazy right now, as with other industries as well, and we are suffering. Um, folks that manufacture or that distribute some of these food products, and so we are waiting for more tomatoes to be able to make our curries and our Punjabi masala and all of that. Though, if you live in Chicago, you can head over to the Whole Foods in Lincoln Park and Lakeview, and they should still have our Punjabi masala on the shelf. If I wanted to make this potato curry and use my Punjabi masala, I would just replace it for the onion, ginger, garlic, turmeric, and then add those other ingredients in. Um, Elizabeth, thank you so much. You said that you had made the Punjabi uh, gobi or cauliflower band gobi, I should say. That's awesome. We're probably going to make a gobi tonight. And then I think I may, if I get... Um, if I do get the time to do this, and my older daughter is here, don't worry, you're not on camera. It's the camera's on me right now. She doesn't want to be on camera. Um, if I get the time, I didn't want to tell her it was going to be a surprise. I think I might make some puris tonight as well. A puri is just a roti flour, durum whole wheat with water, and that's made into like a pizza dough. And you take out little balls, flatten them out, and then you deep fry them on the stovetop. If I do all of that, I will absolutely turn the camera on and try to get that on camera as well later today. All right, so we are going to do more Instant Pot um, videos as well. Any other questions before I sign off? This was just to get everyone super excited. I'm sure you've got potatoes, right? pull the potatoes out. Let's start making this dish. If you want to do it in your crock pot, you can. I probably also will do a version in the Instant Pot. And <laughs> I will absolutely get the girls going on a Punjabi party. We have to get our tunes all lined up this weekend, and then we'll have Bollywood Punjabi tunes playing in the background so we can have a little bit of laughter and pleasure during these really weirdly, oddly dark times. All right, so thanks for joining. That was a quick one, and um, we will post more. I will post more a little bit later. I hope you're all doing well. Stay healthy, stay inside, and cook more. I will post step-by-steps on this potato curry a little later today. For now, get it going, cook them up, get them boiled up on your stovetop. All right, bye everyone, lots of love. See you soon.